Um, I want to turn now to women in PR and diversity issues. Mm -hmm. When you co-founded Gag and McDonald, you reached a pinnacle that few women experience. And uh, I'd like you to talk a little bit about how your career path, the obstacles and the springboards you might have had on your career path um, being a woman. I, I don't know that my career was shaped as much by being a woman as probably certain other things. Um, though I, I read um, an interesting article in the Atlantic Monthly, I don't know if you read the article, I can't remember the author's name, I'm sorry, that um, was very interesting about how difficult it's been for women and it actually did have me stop and think about whether or not that may be the case. I think what's, what women do deal with are the, um, the many obligations that we have. But I see many men who are dealing with those obligations as well. That's changed a lot. Many men stay home to raise their children. I interview many men who would love to come work here, but they don't want to take a job where they're on the road a lot because they have young kids. Um, we have people here in the firm who are dads who work from home a couple days a week. So I, I think a lot of that's changing. Now, when I was, it wasn't the same, of course, when I was coming up the ranks. But one of the things that was wonderful about being a woman is that women have always been allowed to feel. And I think that was something that was very difficult for men for a long time. You know, they were, it, it, there was a belief that there is no humanity at work. So, buckle down, you know, let it go. Um, I always was very, a very feeling person. And I used to stand up and say, it's not because I'm a woman, it's because I'm Irish. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> Hard to say, but I've known a lot of very emotional Irishmen. <laughs> um, I think that sometimes it was an advantage to me because I was very unexpected to people. I tended to approach situations often very, in a very similar way to which a man would. And so particularly when I was very young, men found it very perplexing and kind of funny, which almost let down the guard and was probably part of why they helped me. So there was probably an advantage there. Um, I think that, you know, you'd mentioned something earlier about reaching a pinnacle few women have had. Many women run very successful firms. And I think it's really, really important that we remind everyone of that. Um, I'm a member of the Women's President's Organization and um, off the top of my head now, I, I wish I could remember the statistics to do them justice, but it's absolutely incredible how many women are running you know, multi-million dollar firms and in very, very successful ways. Now, one thing that is interesting is Many of us chose to go that route because it gave us the flexibility that we might not have had otherwise in a corporation. And so I think through the years, women often need to find a path that may not be quite as straight a path for them as men might take. But in the main, I love being a woman. It's a great thing, yeah. It sounds as though over time you believe that things have improved in the in the public relations industry for women and men. Is that fair? In different ways, they've improved for both? Um, or? Well, I'm not sure exactly what you're thinking when you ask that question, but I think the whole industry's improved dramatically. I think it's definitely a, it's a, a very strategic function. I, it's clearly seen as a strategic function. Um, I hear from all of my friends who are executive recruiters that the C-suite has become more and more and more clear on how absolutely critical the job is. We see just phenomenal gifted people in our field. And one of the wonderful things about being part of the Arthur Page Society or the Institute for Public Relations or you know the seminars, just seeing how many people are doing amazing, amazing things. And one great thing too about our field is they're not only very talented, gifted people, they're fun, interesting people. They're people who know a lot about a lot of things. And so I, I, I think the, it's a wonderful industry. And for women and men, I, I think the, 
drive right now is to find the people who really have the talent that are gonna take companies where they need to go in the future. And we're all scrambling to keep up with that because it is a big job, a very big job. And so those who are up for it and want it are gonna have a hell of a ride. Yeah.